Neurotic, germophobic, afraid of heights. What are you working on, buddy? Your resume? <laughs> Intro Psychology 101. I'm doing a paper on obsessive compulsive behavior. It's like reading my life story, Joe. Oh, please, Matt. Psychology? What a scam. You're not going to believe any of this stuff, are you? Oh, but they once sent me to a shrink when I was in junior high. Because of your Casanova complex or your paranoid delusions? <laughs> No, because when I was in junior high, all the girls were in love with me, and when they found out that they couldn't have me, they tried to ruin my life. Is Mom home? No, Ann, she uh, went out, buddy. Good. Andy, come here. What's that uh, green piece of paper there in your hand? What, this? Yeah. It's, uh, it's a piece of paper. I'm working on an opera. I mean, it's... But don't look at it. It's just the first Andy, draft. stop. Will you stop? <laughs> and this note from your teacher, Andy. Says you've been acting up in school. What exactly did you do? Can you imagine Frank Drescher, TVs, the nanny, doing multiplication tables? Uh, I think we'd go something like this. Five times nine is... Oi, let me get a calculator, hey? Come here, Ann, sit down. It says here that you have a meeting this afternoon with you, Claire, and your teacher? Was that this afternoon? Ooh, and I just missed Mom. Andy! Hey, Joe, there's an idea. You're my guardian. It's legal and everything. Why don't you just hop down to the school with me? Manipulation? <laughs> oh, please, Joe, I'm begging you. If you don't, I'll get in trouble. Emotional blackmail. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I am the only one that can help you out, huh, Andy? Codependent. Cool, Okay, all right. I'll come with you, all right? Look, Claire asks where we went, just tell her I took Andy out, okay? All right. Oh, great. Now I'm an enabler. <laughs> Personals? No, Lou, I'm not reading the personals. I'm skimming them. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I read them all the time, too. I even answered one once. Young, sensitive artist seeks soulmate to laugh, talk, and cuddle with. Sounds like you're tight. Mm -hmm. What was the problem? He was 13. <laughs> it was a great date, though. I mean, I'd never been to a bar mitzvah before. Hey, Mom, I have a question. Hey, Matt. Oh, is Andy upstairs? Uh, no, he went out with Joe. Where? I don't know. So, Mom, are you familiar with obsessive compulsive disorder? You run out of small talk again, Matt? See, Mom, I've read this book over and over and over and over. And, Mom, I think that I may be obsessive. Matt, don't be crazy. I think that ship has already sailed, Mom. Matt, really, I do not think you are obsessive. Let's not be hasty. The boy may have a point. You do check yourself out in the mirror an awful lot. No, I don't. No. Lorenzo Lamas looks in the mirror less than you do. Look in your book. I bet there's something about it in there. Oh, my God, you're right. They have a name for people like that. Yeah, I just told you. Lorenzo Lamas. Okay, it does it. Lloyd, why did you do that? I'm not sure. Slow day, I guess. Ooh, are those the personals? Mm, what's this? Supermodel seeks burly mechanic for serious relationship. <laughs> That's an ad you fall for only once. Hey, Claire, don't you worry. You'll start meeting guys. How? The only places I go to are the kitchen and the supermarket. Oh, see? The supermarket's a perfect place to meet guys. No, no, no. They're you know, like guy supermarkets. Come on. We're going shopping. <laughs> 
Hello, Andrew. You don't look like Andrew's mother. No, um, his mom couldn't make it, but it's cool. I'm Joe Roman. I'm Andy's guardian. Hi. It's a pleasure. Andrew, go work on your math assignment. I have something to discuss with your guardian. Careful, Joe. She can smell fear. <laughs> now, the way I see it, Andrew has two problems. Really? Just two? <laughs> he has a wonderful imagination, but he just tends to use it a little too much. Andrew loves to daydream, and I... I just have to say something. I think you are the most attractive, sexy man I've ever seen. From the moment I walked through that door, Mr. Roman, I wanted you. <laughs> Mr. Roman. Yes? What are we going to do about Andrew? Oh, well, you know, um, <laughs> kids are going to be kids, and, you know, we all tend to daydream every now and then, right? <laughs> I don't think you should look at it like that. I think you should look at it like this. Yes, you're absolutely right. Now, how I propose that we handle this situation, Mr. Roman... Oh, is please, please. Why don't you call me Joe? Or, uh... Oh, heck, you can call me Big Steve. Excuse me? I've always wanted to be called Big Steve. I'm not really sure why. I think I'm beginning to see where Andrew gets his humor from. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't a compliment. Okay. Hello? Yes? Oh, dear. Right away. You'll have to excuse me. A bunch of fourth graders just locked a transfer student in his locker. Well, uh, the kid that wait? Now, I want you to go home and have a nice long talk with Andrew about his behavior. All right, but, you know, we really don't mind waiting. Dismissed. Just... <laughs> Oh, Claire, did you look at his cart? He's got frozen pizza and happy clown cola. <laughs> oh, now over there. That's a good candidate. The one, uh, the one buying gourmet cheese? So how do you know he's a good candidate? He's buying gourmet cheese. <laughs> oh, it's camembert. It's camembert. It's even better than I thought. That man has impeccable taste. He drives a foreign car. He owns his own business. And he isn't afraid to cry. <laughs> You got all that from a uh, wheel of cheese? You watch and learn. Hi. Hi, excuse me. Um, could you recommend a good cheese? Oh. <laughs> well, I still bet you anything he isn't afraid to cry. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever said this to another human being, but do you know where I could find some spam? <laughs> Over uh, there in the canned meat section. Oh, thanks. I, I just moved into my own place and I'm not much of a cook. But I hear it's pretty hard to ruin spam. <laughs> yeah, well, they've pretty much taken the guesswork out of spam. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. What are you doing? Separating your lug nuts and your wrenches. Were they fighting again? <laughs> Lloyd, I've been doing a lot of thinking about what you said about how I look in the mirror a lot. As a matter of fact, I can't think of anything else. There's this little voice in the back of my head that keeps saying, look at the mirror, Matt. Look at the mirror. Well, one of those times was me. <laughs> Nevertheless, I've decided not to look in the mirror for a whole week. So to keep my mind off it, I've decided to clean up your tools, man. Man, I was only joking before. Perhaps. But you made me see my problem. And behind every joke, there's a kernel of truth. So, you know, I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, look, wait, it's not funny. Yes, it is. A kernel of truth. That's a great expression. Gotta remember that. Kernel of truth. <laughs> Hey, Matt. What's up, buddy? Hey, Joe. Hey, Matt. Hey, how'd it go with Andy's teacher? Oh, great, great. You know, she was a little cold at first, but uh, then I made her laugh, and she smiled, and wow, she's got a great smile, I'm telling you. <laughs> Wait a minute, Joe. I meant about Andy. Oh, don't tell me you hit on his teacher. You know, I can't help it, man. You know, she's stern and rigid. I've always had a thing for that type of woman. Why don't you ask her out? You wouldn't mind, Andy? You going out with my teacher? I could live with that. <laughs> All right. You know what? Then I'll just go give her a call. 
So did you scream on me to mom? No, Hannah did exactly what you said. I said I didn't know where you guys were, and I don't like lying for you, buddy. Why not? I like lying for you. <laughs> Maybe Andy needs to find the kernel of truth. <laughs> You know, I just called and left a message there for her at the uh, school. What did you say? What did I say? I don't know. I said, uh, Joe Roman called. Please have her call me back. Wow. How romantic. <laughs> You're a regular Barry White. I'm not fat of you, all right? You're not going to get in trouble at school anymore, are you? Nope. Good. How can I get in trouble if my brother's dating my teacher? <laughs> Still waiting for her to call you back? Yeah. I've, uh, taken the liberty here. Oh, baby. When I think of you grading those tests, oh, my God, teach me, baby. Teach me in the school. Ugh. Okay, that's it. No more Barry White tapes for you. Look, if Miss Harper calls me, she calls me, okay? But I wouldn't have to give love a little push. <laughs> Hello again. Hello, Hello Miss Harper. Harper. As you know, Andy has misbehaved again. You're welcome. Andrew, go to the back and have a seat. You know, maybe you shouldn't be so hard on the kid, huh? Oh? And who should I be hard on? I mean, uh, I think the reason why he acted up is because he knew that I wanted to see you again. <laughs> I don't believe this. Yeah, I know, I know. But, you know, if, if you think about it, what he did is really kind of cute, actually. <laughs> I'm very upset with you right now. I mean, that was a very naughty thing to do. But the worst part is, I'm also flattered. Really? But I'm more upset. Okay, all right, so why don't you punish me then, you know? Make me stay after school, uh, wash the blackboard, you know, take you out to see a movie. What the heck? All right, that's great. All right, so, uh, well, when do you want to go out? Right after your detention. Now sit down, Mr. Roman. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? I'll just give you a call then, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mr. Roman. Are you serious? you were going to be back so soon. I'm just going to... You don't have to go. Okay. So, did you two have a good time? Yeah, as much of a good time as you can have going shopping. So, where's the little boy's room? Down the hall. I really have to go. Okay. So? So what happened? It was terrible. We bought him socks, then we bought him shoes, then we bought him a toaster oven. Then we got separated in the mall and I found him in a pet store. He bought a turtle. Oh, now, Claire, that's adorable. Trust me, I think you found a real winner here. False alarm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy, I really have to get dinner started. Really? What are you having? Pot roast? Oh, I love pot roast. Really? Yeah, sure. I haven't had pot roast since Mother moved out. <laughs> so, Matt, how was school today? Jimmy, would you please not talk with your mouth full? Sorry. If I can go 72 more hours without once looking into a mirror, that'll prove that I'm normal. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Matt, it is perfectly normal for a teenager to look at himself in a mirror. Right, Jimmy? Hmm? Well, yeah, when I was your age, I looked in a mirror all the time. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry I can't join you guys for dinner, but uh, I have a date. Joe, tell Miss Harper I say hello, all right? All right, buddy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second, Joe. You have a date with Andy's teacher? Yeah, you know, um, Andy got in a little troubled school, had to go in. You know, it's actually a funny story, really, but... Uh, you had to go in and see his teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, can we just talk about this later? You can count on it. Okay. You told me you didn't know where they went. You, you lied to me. I've been under 
a lot of strain. I'm sorry. You should have told me, Andy. I've been under a lot of strain, too, okay? I'm sorry. Bowling is even better on TV. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to apologize. I know I should have given you that note. Yeah, you should have. And don't be mad at Joe too much. He was just trying to help. Well, I'm glad you can see that. But you shouldn't keep things from me. And Andy, I don't want you acting up in class anymore. Okay. You won't get any more notes from Miss Arbor. I guarantee it. <laughs> that was beautiful. Where are you going? To apologize to my mom. Come on. Joe, look, I'm sorry I was cross with you at the movie theater. No, no, no. <laughs> I was talking. Well, maybe now would be a nice time to offer me some coffee. You know what? Uh, I would love to. I'd absolutely love to, but uh, I gotta fix a car, so... That's okay, Joe. Lloyd already fixed it. <laughs> Hi, Miss Harper. Okay, that's great. Okay, well, you know what? Let me just go check my messages really quick then. All right? Hey, Andy, how about if you come help me, huh? Come on. Here we go. <laughs> what are you doing, Ann? I'm trying to end my date with Miss Harper. How would you want to do that? Because I'm having a lousy time. Maybe this will help. Shoes take a lot of work, Joe. Grow up. Now let's go out the door. Andy, I don't want to go out open there. Open up the door. You open up the handle. And now you go. Claire, where's Jimmy? Duck. What? He asked me to go shopping with him today. I told him I had the mumps. Well, um, he's coming over here. Oh, what should I do? Uh, come on to him. What? No, I'm serious. I'll run away like a jackrabbit. Go, go. Hi, Claire. Hi, babe. Excuse me? I said, hi, babe. And I really love the way those slacks fit you. Oh. No, no offense, Claire, but I think the mumps are making you delirious. I don't have the mumps. I, I have needs. I have needs. I, I don't follow you, Claire. I have needs. I need a man right now. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. I gotta go feed my turtle. I know you said right now, but I get a break in 20 minutes. Hey, what are you doing here? I got your note. My note? Yes, your brother gave it to me today. Dear Miss Harper, I love you. I want to date you till summer vacation. <laughs> if I ever break up with you, I will only be kidding. P.S. Whatever you do, don't ever mention this note to me, Joe Roman, as I am very shy. You know what? <laughs> I bet Andy wrote this note. What is this about? You don't want to go out anymore? Uh. Yeah. Sorry. I see. Do you think this was the best way for me to find out, Joseph? <laughs> no. Is this the way grown-ups communicate? No. You know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Stop talking to me like that, okay? Like what? Like that. You talk to me as if I'm like some child. You drive me nuts. Oh, I don't think I talk to you like a child. You just did it again. Uh, no, I didn't, Joseph. What? I mean, Joe. Oh, my God. Do you really think I talk to you like a child? Yeah. I guess when you spend eight hours a day with kids, sometimes you just can't turn it off, you know? I'm sorry, Joe. So, what would it take for you to give us another chance? Just say one thing. What? You are the most attractive man I have ever met. 
You are the most attractive man I have ever met. Big Steve. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, boy, that Bert and Ernie never disappoint. <laughs> hey, Ann. Hi. You want to explain this note, please? What note? That note. Oh, sorry. How does he so good? Andy, stop fooling around. This is serious stuff. You want to know why I wrote this? Because I'm stupid. Andy, you're not stupid. Yes, I am. I don't understand what they say in school, and I need all the help I can get. Yeah, all right, name a subject that you're having problems in. Math. Okay, math. Uh, let's say I got uh, three cars in the garage, right? And they each need uh, five spark plugs. How many spark plugs am I going to need? A lot. Andy. Sorry, I don't know anything about cars. Okay, all right, all right. Let's say Jim Carrey. Yeah, 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 Jim Carrey. Come here. Jim Carrey is making $20 million a movie, right? And he does three movies. How much money is he going to make? A lot more than a guy with spark plugs. Andy! <laughs> Sorry, 60 million. Yes, okay, that's perfect. All right, now let's say Eddie Murphy gets $10 million a movie and he does five movies. 50 million. Okay, great, Ann. All right, now let's say, uh, okay, Chevy Chase gets $6 million a movie and he does four movies. Mm, trick question. That'll never happen. This kid's a genius. <laughs> there, buddy. One. I did it. I did it. <laughs> you, my friend, are not obsessive compulsive. <laughs> and you, my friend, where the heck have you been? <laughs> ah, back to normal.